All right, y'all. Looks like we pulling up. We a minute away. We about 30 minutes early though, so hopefully everything is ready for me. That'll be good. But if not, then I might have to sit and wait. But um, we're gonna pull up. I'm gonna let them know I'm on site. They got they they told me to download some app to track where I'm at though, so they should be able to see the customer should be able to see where I'm at. But um, I'm gonna let my uh, dispatcher know that I'm on site. Looks like this is a good place right here. So we're gonna see what's up. Stay Time tuned. In. She getting the paperwork ready for me. Once she gave me the paperwork, then I'm gonna bring it down to the other side of the building to pick up the pallet. Once I got the pallet, then you sign the BOL, you take a picture of it, you take a picture of the pallet being tied down, then you send that to the dispatcher. Dispatcher notifies the customer. Customer says, good. Dispatcher texts me, good to go. Then we go drop off everything. So it shouldn't take that long. And again, it's only an 11 mile um, drive. I'm going right down the block to Swedesboro. It's not too far from here. So, we should be good. All right, so I got the paperwork. So now I'm gonna just go to the loading dock. And we're gonna get this freight. I think it's like 860 pounds. So this is gonna be, gonna be a nice little, uh, nice little weight. It said go to seven, eight, or nine, which is the load in the dock. But I don't got no big old truck, so I'm gonna go up the hill. I see another car up there, so I'm gonna go up there also. They got like a small little garage up here, so. Hopefully they'll be able to bring the freight out this way. Whipping it. Yeah, Oh, okay, okay. Is it just one or is it two? It's just this one? Because they asked me if it was a 12 foot. I'm like, yeah, but yeah. if it's just one pallet, I'm straight. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just yeah. one pallet, uh, 20 rolls on it. Copy. Freight tied down. I'm about to, I'm just moving out of my man's way. I'm sending him a text right now. And then we should be straight. So the the broker just called me. She asked me what the ETA is to the drop off. I'm like two minutes. She's like, she's, she's like, oh wow. She's like, I didn't get no um, good to go from the customer. I kept contacting the customer, but they're not answering. So she was like, just go ahead and deliver it. And then um, just, we'll just see what happens there. But, I'm, but my thing is like, that's what I was doing anyway. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and just wait all day. Like, I'm, I'm going to deliver the, um, this freight because I got other things to do. So she ain't getting no good to go. I'm gonna drop everything off. The funny thing is, I actually had a pickup from here um, with a whole different company uh, last week. So I know exactly where I gotta go. I'm gonna drop this off to the customer, let them know I'm here, and then I'm sending the pictures, I'm gonna do the POD, 
then we should be straight. Yes. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I told you. That's what I was saying. I'm like, I'm gonna go to the drive-thru because I'm in a sprint event. I'm pulling in right now. You're welcome. So now she's gonna call me back talking about, hey, um, you in a sprint event, you gotta park over here up the ramp. Like, that's what I said already. I, I already knew that. How you got me going to a loading dock with a sprint event? People don't be listening. The communication part. So now I'm sitting here. I'm going up the ramp. Make sure I'm straight. All right, let's offload. Professional right there. Professional. I need a copy. Give me that paperwork. Sorry. Make a copy? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, boss. Have a good one. I sent all the documents and everything off, but I'm just waiting for the good to go. I'm really just looking for other um, bids to put in right now while I'm waiting. Um, just so I'm not just driving around, not doing nothing. So I'm just waiting to see what's up. I, I just accepted another order, it's from Dispatcher. Looks like we're going to Westchester, PA, delivering to Broomall, PA. Looks like it's a 15 mile, uh, 15 loaded mile delivery. And not really paying a lot though, but I took it just so it could get me into the location in PA to where I'm able to get more orders. It's like. I live like in the surrounding areas, like Delaware, Jersey, Maryland, PA, like I'm right in the middle. So I'm able to really accept orders from any of these states. But um, PA usually is like the most active. So I really just, whatever I could get to get me over there to that state, into certain parts of the state rather, then um, I usually take it. It don't really matter the amount because I look at it like, it's paying me to get there. I'm paying the gas to get there, and now I'll be able to be active out there and reach that goal, so. We headed to PA right now, leaving Jersey, coming into Delaware, and then I'ma just make a right and go right over to PA, so. Let's go. All right, looks like we pulling up to the location. I'm not sure what it is, though. Looks like it's a supply showroom, so we're gonna, uh, might be four items. We're gonna pick this up and then 15 mile to the uh, drop off.
I'm, just, I'm setting out the light right now, but I'm right here after a real person, so. That took forever, but he loaded it up, so we out of here. What I like about dispatcher is they have you sitting around waiting. They pay you for that. So now we're on our way to Broomall, PA. Let me see that we're looking at. 30 minute drive, 16 miles, so let's get there. I just put in another bid too, to pick up in Baltimore and deliver to PA. I told them 200, so we'll see. If that one comes back, then we're looking at a $400 day again. Fingers crossed. We here, pulling up to the loading dock. Well, I'm gonna actually go up the ramp. And um, we're, gonna, we're gonna drop this off. Then we on to the next. F as in Frank. All right, we good with that? I'll see what else we get. Had to pick my baby up from school. Say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> she called me and put in a special request. So now I'm bringing her home. But I gotta go back out later on. Anyway. Hi, baby. So I can't front. It was a little slow today, but my broker saved the day. He sent me something to pick up in Baltimore at the airport, actually, and deliver to PA. Um, I want to say it's a 113 mile. Um, 113 loaded mile um, delivery. I told him give me $200 and we won the bid. So that $200 just off of this one run, it's going to probably take me about two hours. 8.45 is my pickup time and I got to deliver it by 11 o'clock. So looking at a nice little two hour 15 minutes and that's two hundred dollars but with what i made earlier today plus this this takes me over my goal for the day good we made it we did it so now we just need safe travels i'm gonna sit back i'm gonna relax uh i'm not sure if you guys are gonna get the footage i mean i guess just depending on the light I'll, uh, I'll add some of that footage. Like obviously I'm gonna have this part, which is gonna be dark, so I don't know how it's gonna how it's gonna show in the YouTube land. But um, when we get to a more lighted area, like obviously like the airport, and then 
on the highways and stuff like that, then, um, you know, we'll be able to document, we'll be able to see that. But yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, and we on our way. Let's go. Alright, so long story short, something crazy happened, and I wound up losing about four or five days of footage, including all of the front camera facing view of this trip. So we just left with looking at me all day. So here I am, I pulled up to the spot. Um, it was just three little small packages. I had to tie them down. It took about two and a half hour, three hours to get to the location. I'm dead tired during this time, but I finally make it here. And now it's just a matter of offloading and getting all the proper documentation and everything right. So that way I could get back on the road to get home. The good thing is from the drop off to my house, was only an hour and 30 minutes. So it wasn't as long as the trip from Baltimore coming up to PA. So yeah. Hundred miles of running to this money, homie. Tell me, get with it. Had a dream and woke up. Now it's time to get it. Wake up early every morning, counting digits. Make a profit, baby. That's the only option. Gotta make it flip. Gotta make it flip. Gotta make it double. Gotta make it triple. Yo, we made it back. I am exhausted. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I can't even stay up. I'm right around the corner from my, from my house, though. I'm about 10 minutes away. We made it. Oh, man. We made it. We made it. We made it. Appreciate y'all for sticking with me all day. It was a long day. But we, we did reach our goal. I got a couple of appointments that's gonna keep me off of the um off the road tomorrow. So it was good that I was able to make enough to overflow for my for the next day. You know what I'm saying? But um do appreciate y'all for sticking around. About to go into the crib, get some rest. I see y'all in the next one.